Hello, I'm Josh, Hog Control Operator at Jaeger Pro. This week, we'll take a look at a capture that had multiple hurdles to overcome, decisions to make, and pigs to condition. During a recent night operation in the vicinity of Webb East, we could hear the distinct noises of a sounder in the valley below. The silent night, mixed with squeals and grunts, was a clear indicator of work to be done. Now we must focus on the next three steps. One, condition the sounder to the feeder. Two, condition them to the mine trap. And three, capture the entire sounder with a human activated trigger. The following afternoon, we meet back at Web East and discover two heavily traveled trails leading from the wood line to the food plot. This will be where we place the feeder to gather intel on the sounder's composition. It's January 24th and I decide to get a feeder in place. We will fill the feeder with approximately 150 pounds of corn. Every evening, this feeder will drop corn for 20 seconds at the specified time, usually just before dark. This should give me ample amount of time before having to refill. An adult sow, boar, and several juveniles show up late that night. They don't waste any time getting every last kernel off the ground, with the juveniles showing up later the next day looking for more food. For the next several days, the sounders zeroed in on the feeder and continue to make a presence. In addition to the feeder, I like to hand bait sour corn. The smell and texture is like candy to these pigs. Water is added to the corn and left in the sun for approximately a week. The sour corn is hand baited at the base of the feeder as an added food source. With plentiful food, this will keep them in the area longer, which in return will give us additional information from the mine camera. Knowing that I have a boar in the mix, I decide to focus on him first and remove him from the equation to make the trapping process much easier. With an apparent injury to his right ear, I name this boar Split Ear. Old Split Ear continues to make his rounds at the feeder site, and my plan is to catch him there alone. Shooting him while other pigs are present will only educate the rest that the feeder is a danger area. It's February 4th and I decide it's time to take Split Ear down. Hopefully the stars align and he is solo tonight. Within a couple hours, we are notified by the Jaeger Pro app that there is movement at the feeder. Lo and behold, it's Split Ear and he's on his own. Rifle of choice is a Daniel Defense Chamber in 308. Running Hornady ELDX in 178 grain, topped off with a Pulsar Trail LRF Thermal and a Silencer Cole 300 Omega Suppressor. We act fast, keeping the wind in our favor. We close into 70 yards, set up the tripod, steady sight picture, and with the pull of the trigger, the 178 grain bullet is delivered right where I needed it. With a bang and a flop, split ear hits the dirt. Time to assess the bore, document, and photograph any special features, then get him loaded up. The following afternoon, the remaining sounder continues to condition to the feeder, while we continue to watch and gather intel for any changes in the sounder's composition. With almost two weeks of information, we are keyed in on two adults with 14 juveniles for a total of 16 pigs. Our goal is capturing all 16, expending the least amount of fuel, time, labor, and money. It's now 7 February and time to get the enclosure constructed with a focus on baiting the heavily traveled trails for the conditioning process. Later that evening, video catches the juveniles lining up like children at a cafeteria. They continue to favor the fermented corn thanks to a combination of sun and water. We pull the SD card from inside the trap to study their behavior. Juveniles have no issue feeding inside the enclosure while the older and wiser sow no, something isn't right. Two days later, the footage catches the juveniles feeding inside while the two sows approach cautiously. You can tell they are communicating to their young that they don't like this situation. Not the body language I want to see from them. Again, the camera on the main trail catches most of the juveniles with no sows in sight. We know they're close, but wary of the trap. Several days of watching trail cam videos, and we quickly realized that only the juveniles have the courage to step inside the trap. In my mind, trapping the juveniles may be our only hope. We continue to bait the site in hopes to lure the adult sows. 
We added a bucket of peanuts in the addition to the sour corn. Maybe the new food source will be the secret ingredient. The Jaeger Pro app continues to feed us intel of the sounder, and lo and behold, only juveniles in the enclosure. We make a command decision to capture the juveniles, and hopefully lure the sows into a quick reaction force bait site at a later time. This is accomplished by digging a hole approximately two feet deep and filling with water and corn. With the decision made, I grab plenty of bait to keep them occupied in the trap. It's 21 February, and we are preparing for a gate closure that evening. With the bait set, my phone alerts me later that evening of movement on the main trail, leading to the trap. I switch over to the live video and all 14 juveniles are in the enclosure. I count multiple times that all 14 are indeed in the trap. At approximately 7.22 p.m., I initiate the drop gate command on my phone. Both gates drop simultaneously. At this moment, they know something bad has happened. They continue to look for an escape route with no luck. I arrive within the hour to euthanize all 14 pigs using a 22 long rifle shooting subsonic ammunition. Looks like it's time to get these crop killers loaded up and prepare the trap for another capture. As you can see, sometimes things don't go as planned, largely when dealing with a feral animal. That's when you need to regroup and make the best out of a situation. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Jaeger Pro, the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Army trained, combat tested, farmer approved. We'll see you next week. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the process and products needed to eliminate feral pig populations on your property. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to email us at info at